Although we do understand that we don't have enough sailors to staff support vessels for frigates, also the number of regular That's soldiers... That's not true, has... that story. OK, so tell us what is the truth of the story, because it has been widely reported yeah. no, that we don't have enough sailors. I, I, I Meanwhile, Mr Shapps, we see that regular soldier numbers have fallen by 40% since 2010. So first of all, on the, uh, on, I saw the story saying that we couldn't uh, uh, send the, the, the carrier strike group out. The, the story is completely untrue. In fact, we are sending the carrier strike group out as part of that steadfast defender operation I mentioned a moment ago. And when it comes to numbers, uh, it, it is true that the plan is to uh, have 73,000 uh, uh, troops full time. Uh, army uh, troops, but the overall military is much bigger than that, uh, very close to 189. Uh, thousand right now. And just looking at numbers is not that reliable in terms of how ready we are to fight. And you've seen whether that's providing the support in Ukraine or just in the last week or so, uh, the support in terms of attacking uh, or, or preventing the attacks from the Houthis on uh, shipping and in particular on HMS Diamond, which I was on on Thursday. When we need to do things, we are capable and able to do it. It is true that there, is, there are strong recruitment issues. I'm pleased to report, actually, I was just talking to uh, the head of the, uh, the army uh, who tells me that applications uh, are at a high for the last six years. So we will make sure that we keep people coming into the army. If you're watching this and you're interested, please apply.